Deaths of the two NYPD heroes weighed heavily on officers in Westchester County during a massive gun bust. More than 100 weapons were confiscated and a dozen people are now facing charges. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. It looked like the prop room for a blockbuster action film. Weapon after weapon on display as multiple Westchester police agencies detailed Operation Casper, as in the famous ghost, since almost half these are untraceable ghost guns. That means that there's not serial numbers on either portions of or on the entire gun. The guns were taken from a dozen people at eight locations in Westchester and Putnam counties during raids on Tuesday. Intelligence gathered at the regional real-time crime center helped cops target felons and people convicted of domestic violence. We didn't just get guns off the street. We got them away from people who are not supposed to have them. This huge variety of guns now all face the same process. It's going to be very busy for us. Ballistics expert Art Holzman will be part of the team testing every weapon seized, including firing some into a so-called trap filled with rubber balls. And that will stop a hollow point without expanding it, which makes it more appropriate for a forensic examination. Everything gets analyzed and entered into a national database. We can check anywhere in the United States. To see if the gun was used in an earlier crime. Also seized during the raids, several high-capacity drums of this same type that was used just last week in the murders of two New York City police officers. Several cops told me officers Rivera and Mora were on their minds as they worked to take these off the street. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.